it was October 30th, 1935, and the day's flight was of a four-engine prototype bomber. The Boeing 299 was the most technologically sophisticated and largest airplane built up to that time. A Seattle Times newspaper reporter, Ronald Smith, called it a flying fortress. Major Pete Hill was an extremely capable and meticulous pilot. At age 41, he was the U.S. Army Air Corps' chief test pilot and had flown almost 60 different aircraft types. At Wright Field in Dayton, Ohio, Major Hill and his co-pilot, Donald Putt and three onboard observers attempted takeoff. Immediately after, the 299 suddenly pitched up, climbed to 200 feet, stalled, and fell to a fiery crash. Thanks to the heroism of First Lieutenant Robert Givanali, Putt and two observers sur survived, but Major Hill and Boeing test pilot Leslie Tower were too badly burned and later perished. It was determined the accident was not due to structural failure or engine malfunction, but to the locked condition of the surface controls, which made it impossible for the pilot to control the airplane. The locks were used to prevent wind damage to the plane's rudder and elevators while on the ground. It seemed like a simple mistake, but experts wondered if the Flying Fortress was too complex an airplane to fly safely. It eventually was adopted as the B-17 and the Air Corps developed the first checklist, now required in all aircraft. Now, how does this story relate to our industry? Here's a photo of the 1965 Southern Standard Building Code. If a carpenter wore overalls, it would fit in their pocket. Today's building code is volumes, and not only has the content changed, but a process called plan review now exists. If your local building department isn't sifting through your CDs with a fine-tooth comb yet, wait for it. But rejoice when something is hard. You can do hard. And I know most others won't. Complicated building codes and plan reviews shine a light on those designing homes professionally. And AIBD wants to see you in the spotlight. How? We've added the AIBD Construction Docs Checklist to the Designer Docs Library. The Excel worksheet has over 150 items and can be edited to increase or decrease based on your local conditions. Not only will it remind you of something you may have forgotten, we've added references to the 2012 and 2015 IRC sections to help guide you to the exact requirements for each element. Now, I know that your clients hire you for your creativity and design expertise, but clients aren't the only stakeholders expecting your work to be excellent. Builders want to get the project started now. The plan review is a bottleneck to them. When permits are issued with only one review, the builder saves time, the client saves money, and you are a hero. Now, two thirds of my professional career has been spent in the current position working with building designers, testifying at code development hearings, and curating education. Trust me when I say that this is an incredible tool. Go to the AIBD store and purchase designer docs. AIBD members have free access, and there's a fee if you're not a member. And if you've already purchased Designer Docs, you don't have to do it again. Sign in to AIBD.org slash hub and click on the My Transactions tab. Then look for My Downloadable Products. Now in the comments below, tell me about a time where a checklist would have saved you from crashing and burning. Please support those who support us by visiting our AIBD Monday Minute sponsors and have a healthy and happy new year.